Vince Noctis. Subscribe to Vincent Valentine EX Turk channel. Hello, my arch of chaos. This is your key life. It's about time. Yeah, Turk got a haircut at sports clips. Looks way better. Looking, got the massive swag. Bitches love the king of the night swag. But anyways, we're here to address the topic because I think this is important since my stream got out of control yesterday. Besides me drinking and stuff like that. People saying it's unprofessional to have locker room talk in your streams. Now let's talk about what locker room talk is and what it is. Locker room talk does not involve you going to your female co-workers or whoever you work with or female members of your church you're going to or female you know, YouTube members you meet at a con or girls that you meet at a con or etc. etc. Pretty much any females that you encounter in the normal day-to-day -day life doesn't you know does not mean it does not count as talking to them about locker room stuff that you're gonna do now not to say that females don't do locker room talk I like I said if it comes to right go Gosling they even talk I seen I have even heard females talk about making a dildo uh, that looks like um, Ryan Gosling. I heard females actually say that. So they've said some pretty, some pretty, some stuff. I'm just saying, what well, locker room talk is and is going up to people and publicly saying this stuff is what I'm trying to say. It's not publicly going to females and saying this stuff. What it is is talking to, let's see, your boys, your brothers, your other guy friends, you know, you know, behind, every, behind with, you know, with privacy, or you can even go in the bar because let's be honest, the bar is an 18 plus place. You should be at least be 18 plus to go to any bar. So you can bring your little locker room talk if you want, because there shouldn't be no kids. If there is, then well, that parents a piece of shit. And probably shouldn't raise kids, but we're not talking about that. <clears throat> you know, pretty much in the privacy with your boys, with your dudes, whoever you hang out with, you know. And stuff like that, or when if you're changing the locker room, let's say you own a sports team, and you talk, about, you end up bringing the subject saying, "I would fuck this girl because she's this and that, and that. I would do this and that. I would do X, Y, Z to her." And and that's fine. I think to be quite honest, people see this is why I said we live in an oversensitive society. You know, I this is why we live in an oversensitive society because. People are oversensitive. They're hypersensitive because, like, you know, yes, I was drunk, and yes, I said some pretty fucked up things right there, but, you know, I'm not going to lie. I At the same time, I don't think I should be shut down because, well, I said some things I would like to do to my ideal female I want to be with. It's just, you know, everybody's got their own things. Everybody's got their tics, and let's be honest. Everybody got their own fetishes and they want to do what they want. Let them alone. As long as they're not messing around with children. As long as they're not messing around with animals. Uh, you know, we live in a free country. You know? Equality. My, uh, equality. Come on, man. Equality. Uh, let's get to it. Now, the reason why I want to bring this up, it's not only about equality. Because, you know, again, some of these, no, not all of them. But some of these crazy type of feminists go around saying he did he said what he shouldn't put no locker room talk in his streams he should not say final fantasy girls are hot and he would do them and have sex with them oh he is so awful he's gonna end up raping somebody because he thinks sexual thoughts when let's be quite honest the world is thinking you're thinking sexual thoughts too i see the biggest feminist the biggest feminists are into stuff like 50 shades of gray now what the fuck does that tell you now, yes, this is going to be titled as MA because, of, because locker room talk has something to do with mature subjects, mostly sexualized subjects, but I don't think people should lose their jobs over saying a few things. Let's just say a guy has a thing for the character Tifa, and they're on a stream and said they say, I would, oh, I would motorboat Tifa's breasts or something like that. You know, I don't think, you know, it, you know, that's not, I don't, because if you're going to do that, then you, we should put girls on the same thing. We should put girls on the equal, we should put girls on the equal level to that too. 
Mean that uh, we don't want to hear about what the fuck you're gonna do with Go- Ryan Gosling's dick. No thanks. And no, you know it's unsolicited anyways. But um, besides the point, I think we should hold females to the same standards as well. As okay, a- a- as well as men when it comes to okay, when it comes to you know locker room talk. Because let's be quite honest, everybody does. Everybody does locker room talk. Let's just be quite honest. I mean, realistically. If a guy sees a girl, he wants to put it put it in her. He's gonna talk about putting it in her. He's gonna if he don't talk about, it, he's gonna at least thank it. I mean, let's be realistic about this kind of stuff. You know, let's be realistic. We're twenty five year old adults. At least most of us who watch my channel. I hope that it's all grown ups that watches my channel. But anyways, mm. all right. I'm trying to finish something and I'll be up, okay? But to be quite honest, I don't think people should lose their jobs over that. I think that's kind of stupid, to be quite honest. I think it's just ignorant to make people lose their livelihood and say that they're not professional because because they feel they feel the need to talk about sexual stuff. Let's be quite honest. Let's be mature about this. You know, first of all, let's be mature about this. And if you don't, if you, and if you, white, you know, no offense, but feminist white knight male types, you know, the ones that are like, oh, how dare you disrespect women when it's not really disrespectful, because I'm not going up to random women talking about this stuff. Because again, I know what locker room talk is and what locker, t- locker room talk isn't. Yeah. Okay, I'll come up. I'm finishing something. Okay. But what locker room talk is. Like I said, about locker room talk isn't locker room talk isn't going in your job or any place you work with a female and saying that stuff because yeah, then that's bona fide sexual harassment and you shouldn't do it. But when you're on your own platform and you feel like you need to send some nice DMs, I think you should be able to be able to do that. Or if you're in a bar with your friends and you guys are just you know having a laugh at you know locker room talk, let's be quite honest. Let's just be realistic. The guys that complain about locker room talk, you know, but, you know, and I'm gonna talk about real locker room talk. I ain't talking about when Trump says grab her by the pussy because the way he says it means without consent and that's bad. You know, you gotta at least say at least if you have the opportunity, meaning that she gives you the opportunity to even touch her anyways, but nonetheless, um, Nonetheless, uh, what am I saying again? I forgot what I'm saying. The, the, the type of men that tell, talk about how locker room talk is, you know, and I'm talking about real locker room talk, is disrespectful toward women and stuff like that, are the types that don't get laid usually. The white knights, the ones that get the fedoras. Take the fedora off and just have a good time. Go drink a beer or something like that. And go to a bar and have a time. Just say some stupid stuff once in a while. Don't always have to put a filter on everything. Only when you're at work. Only put a filter on when you're at work or a professional place. But when you're at home or you feel at home or you have a YouTube channel where you do feel at home, feel at home. Now, you ought to be very careful. But, you know, you know there is a difference. Like I said, on my channel, I'm going to have some locker room talk because, well, let's be honest, I'm a man who runs, who runs mostly... A Final Fantasy channel, and most my and most of my people are guys. Or well, you know, most of my followers and most of my followers are females. Who's yeah? That's all that's in there. That's all in there. But anyways, like um, that's also made with also females who pretty much ex- who who's really open. All the females that follow me are really open to sexuality because let's be quite honest, even though I may not prefer, you know, yaoi and all that sneak stuff, some of them are like that. And you know what? And again, I think everyone should be able to express, express himself when it comes to locker room talk because, you know, you got to get it out sometime. If you keep that sexual energy in yourself way too long you go to unhealthier heights and mindset and that's just not good for the mind and heart and it gets you in trouble so I think you know once in a while you should just let out say it is you might you just shout to the mountaintops now don't really shout to the mountaintops because again not in public but if you're on your streams and stuff like that 
and you feel the need to just talk about how hot Tifa is, do it, man. Do it. You should be able to do it. You shouldn't be shaved for it. You should be able to go ahead. You know, just be careful not to transfer that to work. Like, I wouldn't go to your job and say that stuff. What's st what goes on your stream stays on your streams. What goes on your YouTube videos stays in your YouTube videos. Do not try to combine the two. Okay? I'm not saying you have to be kid friendly either. I'm just saying, you know, don't do it in public. Keep the, pro you know, keep the YouTube persona to YouTube. Keep the private life to private. And keep the work life to work life. But nonetheless, you should be able to express, you know, sexual frustration issues like, you know, and I, maybe not issues, but more like sexual, you know, stuff, you know, because other guys have the same thing. That's what guys do. Let's be quite honest. That's what we bros do. Bros see that a hot ass coming in the, coming in the bar, like, we're like, yeah, I'll lock me some of this, some, is that some breasts and some thighs and some legs? Girl, that's some good, that's some good, ooh, take me to Popeyes. But no, in all seriousness though, it's, I don't think people should get in trouble for this stuff. And I think it's ridiculous that we're so sensitive that every little thing we gotta watch. We're, we always have to step on thumbtacks because political correctness, again, messes us up. We can't say what we want to say, and that's I mean, to, to a certain extent. Now, again, certain extent, there's some things you can't say. You can't be racist. You can't be misogynist. You can't be homophobic. I understand those ones, but I don't think it's misogynistic if you want to go around here saying, let's just say you look at a picture of Tifa, if you're if you're in the Tifa, and you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, and what the things I would do to the girl, my buster sword is going inside of her, but no. We should be able to express that in a stream. I don't think that's kind of wrong. I don't think that's ill professional. That just shows you're more human. And let's be honest, we're not perfect. Let's stop putting people on a perfect pedestal. No YouTuber on this planet is perfect. No one's perfect. I'm still human. At the end of the day, I'm still human. I'm still paying bills. I'm living at my parents' house. My mom and my grandparents' house. Sorry, I live with a single grandmother. But um, I live with, you know, I, I, you know... I still have to pay bills, rent, you know, you know, I still, you know, would like more pussy because let's just be quite honest, I'm a guy, that's what I like, you know, I like that shit, that's good, it's, it's wonderful, um, you know, we still got perfect perfections, emotions mess with us, I have anxiety, you know, at the end of the day, we're all human, and we all need to remember that. You don't always have to filter yourself when it comes to, you know, being yourself. I believe if you're a man, you should stay, you should be, you know, you should stay being what you are. Don't try to change, you know, because the PC culture tells you you can't say this or that, you know. And I'm talking about the ones that are unreasonable. I'm talking about the type of feminists that are unreasonable with that stuff. I think, you know, that's just, you, you got to be reasonable with yourself and everybody else you deal with. Because if you don't be reasonable with yourself or anybody you deal with, then, you know, you're going to be a messed up person. It's okay once in a while to even look, even at a real female you see in real life. She's got a nice booty. she got, you know, nice legs. It's okay to think those things. And it's okay to have locker room talk. You got to let that stuff out. Because if... So, you know, the point I'm trying to say is no one should lose their professionalism for going on a stream and having locker room talk. Because let's be quite honest. We, we guys like female body parts. Come on, man. Let's be quick, right, real honest. That's how, that's how most people are there. The feminists don't understand is that's how you're born. See, your mom, your dad saw a beautiful woman, which is your mom. They got together. They had a relationship together, and they fucked that's how you're born. That's how you could see. That's how we're all could see. That's science. But nonetheless, that's what locker. You know, it's just what it is. Harmless locker room talk. I think we're being too sensitive. Harmless locker room talk. Enough with this PC bullshit. 